G'day everybody, where's Wally's here? After I made my video the other day um, proving gravity was an external force by spinning a GoPro round and round in a frame, I went and had a look at um, Phuket Word's video on much the same subject about gravity. And it occurred to me that much of what he says I can't really disagree with. So I made a video of his video showing just that. 8 minutes and 20 seconds from his 11 minutes I have no problem with. So have a listen and have a let me know in the comments just how far you got through it. Hello flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. With this plastic ball and a tub of water, let's just have a, a look at the model of the globe earth and the glue that is to make the whole heliocentric model stick together and that is of course gravity external force of course we have to imagine that this is a, a ball in space and then of course we have no up and down in space but then on a ball down is towards the center of the globe gravity as an external force created by the mass of the of the earth or uh, gravity creating weight it may seem very simplistic but really I'd like to try and demonstrate what really is the only thing that we can physically prove uh, as and measure. So we know that of course uh, if we drop the ball through the air it's going to fall at a rate of about 9.8 meters per second per second. Now one thing to bear in mind is that this rate of acceleration is a constant for the mathematicians to then base all their equations on because something with a mass will drop through a vacuum or a medium that is of zero density at this rate of acceleration then uh, this is proof that we have an external force that creates weight or creates up and down okay we know this will fall through the air because it has a mass that is more dense than the air. If this uh, was a helium balloon, then we create an upward force in the medium of air. We would also have that upward force in the medium of water. Okay, it's opposing gravity. The fact that you you just create an upward force with a mass that is less dense than the medium it is in. Okay, but here we have a downward force in the medium of air because this is heavier than the medium of air. Okay, so uh, we have things being attracted to the center of a spherical earth. All right, so we know it will fall through the air or it will rise in the air depending on its relative density. Now what happens when it hits the water? Of course, it floats, okay? So what I try, want to try and get across, okay, is that the water is now a different medium so everything changes you still have this constant force of gravity pulling the blue the ball down towards the center of the earth on or in the medium of water it now is relative to the medium of water it's gone through the air because it's more dense than the air and now it hits water and now we're talking about a different medium so you measure this continuing downward force people will tell you that buoyancy is uh, a direct result of gravity in the equations you might still consider that there's a downward force because this thing has a weight in the medium of air but really it has nothing you have to push this down quite hard to make it go down there is only an upward force and it's got to do with any other downward force acting on the water yeah again bear in mind that uh, we are told that it is the Earth's specific mass in a spherical volume that creates the weight that you and I have on this Earth, okay? Uh, and that uh, if, for example, this was the Moon with uh, less mass, then you would weigh less on the Moon. You would still have the same mass, yes, but you would weigh less because of this attraction. Okay, so we all get that. 
Of, of course, the proof we have been given is astronauts bouncing around on the moon, and that has been proven over and over again to be so the mass of the Earth or the mass of any spherical object creates a different kind of weight depending on that mass. Yeah? So get that because it's ever been proven. So what we have, okay, is that the specific mass of the Earth is what creates weight. Yet, when it comes to buoyancy in water, if the mass of the Earth is what creates weight, then whatever is cre creating an opposing buoyant force should work on the same principle. So really, this ball should float differently in this water depending on, on how massive the body of water is, that it is the Earth's specific mass pulling the ball down, then anything opposing that gravity created by mass or weight created by mass should have used the same principles, yeah? Of course we know that this could be a tub this size, it could be a lake, uh, and the ball will float in the same manner. There is no difference in the buoyant force created by the water. It is the mass of the Earth that creates a gravitational force, okay? So that's, again, an explanation that has anything to do with the... So when it comes to uh, this, you know, seeing a feather and a ball being dropped through a vacuum at the same rate of acceleration and assuming that this means there is a constant force, this really is just the fact that we are, a vacuum is a medium of zero density, so anything with any mass that is greater than that medium will fall through it. Even a helium balloon will fall through a vacuum, okay? So you've created a medium that has zero density, so you can't make anything rise in that vacuum. That's all there is to it, yeah? So you, you, just by putting a mass, whether it's a feather or a lead balloon, a lead ball, sorry, uh, they will fall because, yeah? But here, of course, the water can easily support this, this ball, which is, which is fairly light, yeah? But the same as uh, a feather and um, a ball will fall through a vacuum. If you take this metal car, it will fall through the air and it will fall through the water quite easily, yeah? In the same way that uh, an object of any mass will fall through the air. It's just that the water puts up slightly more resistance, so the ball will float, but anything that is way more dense than the water will drop through it, yeah? Okay, so again, all we can ever observe on this Earth is density. Yeah? To have an explanation that uh, appears to fit the model of a globe Earth and us being able to stick to it because the mass of the Earth creates weight, it's just physics. Okay? So when people talk about the heliocentric model and gravity that sticks it all together, explanations you can come up with any explanation you want. There is actual proof. Yeah? Try to understand what I'm pointing out. Thank you very much. Okay, now if you made it right to the end, you've obviously done well. And I was a little bit cheeky because I took out some of the things like not and supposedly and all the things that he likes to trick us with. So good job for making it to the end. Thanks, guys.